Okay, round four, and the Miniscout Menace is still proving to be present. Um, perhaps maybe, maybe I can ask for an amnesty on Mini Scouts just for testing other weapons and stuff like that. Uh, because uh, it is still becoming a somewhat of a scourge. So, you know, perhaps we want to try some of the other weapons or try some of the other classes. Um, you know, check the wiki out, see, w see what you can do with that. Now, in any case, there goes Mr. Smokey, one intel. And there goes another scout with another Scarvoxio there. I think using the Bayface's blaster, he's moving slower than normal. And looks like Red. Uh, that's a very peculiar defense there from Party Martin. Uh, that's actually almost workable. Um, it's a very interesting emplacement. And right now, it looks like you know Red are winning this. Now, what might be the issue here is, you know, putting down mini sentries. If en your engineers, perhaps you want to put mini sentries straight da down straight away, help stop the um, mini scouts getting in. And it looks like, yeah, there goes Mr. Smokey for a third time. Oh my god, Tom comes down with the stab. Now, that's always holding blue team together. And the defense is gone. Tom there just, oh my god, Tom is really, really trying to hold this game. But Basai Demon there. He's running away with this. And there was a 3 0 victory there. I think the scramble is coming up. Looking a little bit grim there. Okay, round five and the mini. <laughs> I think we need mini sentries. They're the only thing that can go fast enough and stop the scouts. Uh, so that perhaps maybe is your first port of call for engineering. Stopping the mini scouts. Because once, once that happens, the game kind of begins earnest. Party Martin there. Um, <laughs> that was really, really chasing after one spy. That's a, you some interesting work there. But then this is like the you know the whole point of uh, TF2 tightrope. It's looking at new weapons and things like that and seeing what happens. And seemingly the mini scout menace is a huge one. Uh, and the mini the mini sentry is the only thing that can really cure it. You know, you know if, if it's bad enough, it can get cut from the game quite easily if needs be. Um, it's already been nerfed once. It may, need a, it may need to be removed at this rate because, you know, it just seems to be generating way too many complaints. But in any case, ooh, looks like uh, something about to pick up the intel there. Zydran, Burninator Supreme, just about taken out there. Now, in any case, let's see what's going on either side here. Well, from the looks of it, blue both teams are really trying to hammer each other opponent's um, spawn at, well, thingy areas. Mm, very interesting. Okay. Yes, very interesting work here from Blue Engineering. How is Stingray playing it cool? Oh no! Nope. And <laughs> Pinky, the Scarvoxo just clobbers in with a good old shot. The thing is, though, it does seem to be the sentries are the things that are really holding this game. As soon as those things come in, the mini scouts just don't really have much of a chance. Demo, uh, only got one real new thing, and that was a change on the lock and load. Still three shots. It does uh, more damage and sticks to the person. Uh, if you take any damage from it, you die. Uh, it's not been popular so far. In any case, looks like the red team moving up. I looking like to cap the first intel.
There's Mr. Dragon Maker there. Uh, trying to find his way. Uh, he might be lagging or something. There goes one intel, and it scores there. Are oh, oh, there all the crits at the wrong time for Harry saying we're overwhelmed? That was unfortunate. So close yet so far. I might also recommend uh, there's another little trolling strat you can do, which is very funny. Uh, the sun the stick now for the scout has also changed. Uh, what it does now is that it puts people on fire but deals no actual direct damage. Uh, so that's kind of funny if you want to do that. And especially when you're mini scouts, where you basically run around putting people on fire and they don't know what's going on. Very distracting. Oh wow, um, Zydran there tries to run into Kerouac but just didn't manage to kill him off. Even with crits flodge. Now anyway, back to the game. Well, it's one nil so far. Or nil one. And looks like people are starting to out putting sentries in the main room, which is a scumbag tactic. If you can get some good big sentries in the main room, you pretty much hold it and it's very hard to break out of. Right there from Shadow Spine, they're just shooting down that uh, sentry. Again, you might want to use the um, s uh, the standard um, roll because that does extra damage now. Side ran there, not dying. Now, in any case, then they can try and move it again. But this is what we're seeing here. We're seeing mini scouts try and move in. They're just not coping. I mean, they try to take out the sentries at range, but it's just not working. This is the car. This is the problem actually, because they don't have the pistol. They have no long-range firing capability. Uh, very much a problem for them. And looks like this is going to be the uh, third cap win here for Red. And that's a nice win for them. Okay, round six. Are we going to have some change up in tactics here? Are we going to see anything different? In so far, it has usually been, you know, one team runs into a base, takes the intel and runs away. The uh, mini, mini scout are still being the bane. For the time being, though, you know, both both can see our mentality you know attacking straight in. This is, this seems what the uh, you know, the big balance debalancer is. It seems like the defensive capabilities have been somewhat nerfed with the mini scouts and you know, requiring use of the mini sentries are just not good enough to take on the bigger targets. The heavy hoovy tactic though is still reasonably workable. That and Denny Tim with the vampa vampax. Harry the Stingray. Oh no! Oh no! Harry, no! Couldn't get back up the vent. <laughs> Bad travesty. Mr. Smokey's on that though. Seriously, Bad is really, really holding the holding the intel by himself until his red blast gets it. Until he's burnt. Red is just about holding their intel right now. It's not looking good. Ah, oh, like a Denny Tim Scar Boxer handy with the pistol there. I have to say, I really like the pistol in most circumstances. I mean, um, I do feel it's one of the most underappreciated weapons, and maybe it does require a little bit of modification. I mean, they made the winger. Its original form was like a clip damage reversal thing, you know, one of those. It was a very boring mod. The new one they give you more jump capability, which is kind of fun for the scout. But there's really no other pistol, different pistols out there. 
thing is, actually, you've got quite a few of those little things now. Uh, basically, the secondary slot becomes more of a passive or utility ability rather than another weapon. There's Eltor. Ooh, shut sure, out the sky by bad. Bad is really, really ramping up a kill, kill count here today. First guy into triple numbers. He's doing well. Now, where are the Indos? Well, one of them is definitely out of place somewhere. That's a nice sentry. That's a really... Oh, wow! Epic gonna just gets Pinky there. Pinky was not expecting that from behind. And decides to run away with the intel. Ooh, nearly got out the door as well. That was very close. Now, can Red Team pick that up? Okay, they're really trying to get in with those uh, spies. And there's a little tiny scout again. And the big sentry was just too slow. Oh, no. Epic killer. Just couldn't deploy it in time and the entire thing was destroyed. Unlucky there. Red at 1-0 up again. Not sure what happened there. Uh, the Rebelus killed one guy and then Pinky killed him with a crit shot. Um, so again, it's not entirely my server. I'm just, you know, like I'm just pretty much paid to just host events now. I don't really do that. Scum. <laughs> now, in any case, Party Martin. There he goes. Oh dear, Mr. Dragon Maker there. I think you got a bit unlucky. Oh, wow, that was a draw. Um, <laughs> Dragon Dragon is man, but uh, unfortunately he gets himself as well. Eltor BG. Oh, cheeky man there. Can't exactly aim, but he can run with an intel. Altor BG there playing agro engineering. Can he run away with this? Well, it looks like he can. Uh, you know, Blue's got away with it quite nicely. Or well, Red has, actually, you know. Well, no, Blue has, actually. I get confused sometimes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, as much as he's going to equalize, uh, there it goes. Uh, now, can Blue hold their intel again inside the base? And lucky there, Tom. Miasmic really, really trying to hold everything down here. Zydran, you know, trying to use the panic attack there. Oh boy. You know, Blue Team again is once more doing this thing of holding things in the room. And can they get their intel in to, you know, take their last intel out? Tight game here. Can Blue Team win one back? Scout runs straight into the heavy. Not advisable tactic. Where's that intel? It needs to be capped now. They need the crits. There it goes. Okay, now they get, they get intel out of there. Can they do it? Medic needs to run. Okay, somebody take out that intel. Somebody needs to move that intel. No, you're leaving it. Oh, there goes the mini scout. Oh, there it goes. And it's gone. Uh, but, but I think, though, the winning intel has been taken by Party Martin. Can he run away with this? Good. Party Martin's in for the win here. But all the other intel's going. It's down to a race. Who's going to cap this first? The Mini Scout or the Medic? Oh boy. It's looking tight. But I think Party Martin might have it. A nose. He's congering me. Oh my god. This is not the time to conger. Oh boy. That was a dangerous time to do a conger. <laughs> oh boy. And Blue Mesh win a game. Okay. Round seven. And you know, teams are still looking relatively same in terms of class choice. Thing is, I don't really take class choice too serious in this game mode, partially because it, it just gets weird. <laughs> you know. 
routine once more, you know, going full out attacking. Your conscience there. Oh, that uses the bonk. And there he goes. But again, Denny seems to be using that underburner. Anyway, there's a fast Oscar there. Yep, just nice again with it. Well, it looks like again another race. And once more, mini scout again. But this time looking pretty equal. <laughs> oh no, Shadow spying there. Got rumbled somewhat. Oh wow, Fast Oscar getting all the crits in. And one cat there for blue, they've got the crits. Now do red have theirs? Aldo's taking next intel. But oh wow, Kerouac there is holding that blue intel. He is, uh, what is it with blue team and they're holding the intel in the other person's room? And they're not seeing the mini scout run past him. Oh jeez. That was unfortunate. What one oh, oh no 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 blue at uh, two up now. Okay, fast Oscar puts game away for blue. There it goes. Now it's looking good. Oh uh, what do you mean redo? You wanna scramble? Well, I don't know. The Liberty Launcher is a nice t two shot weapon. Um, but it's only got limited shots and it's good on the air thing. Um, you know, again, please, uh, you know, leave comments down for, uh, you know, in the video. Say if you like the weapon or didn't like the weapon. If the Liberty Launcher is a bit too powerful, you know. And looks like Blue Team have a win then. Nice done by uh, Scar Voxio. Uh, <laughs> round six, uh, seven. Uh, Scarvox apparently was the winning uh, entrant for that. Uh, maybe it's a slightly glitchy uh, bug in the server or something. I don't know. Uh, it is a winning capture, Scarvoxio. I don't know what to say. Now, in any case, all rounds. You know what? Okay, in opposition to the um, mini scout. Uh, why don't we have like uh, heavy bread or something, which basically makes the heavy even bigger? Uh, that that should be fun. You want, you want to see even bigger, fatter, more dangerous heavy now, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> and there goes uh, uh, heavy. This thing is falling in love with the hoovy copter. Doing a nice job of it as well, but again, both again both teams have picked up each other's intel. Yeah. I mean, he's using that like a charm. Now, for the time, it looks like Red managed to pick up the crits first. They are going to go on a killing spree, but Blue should pick up there soon. Oh, what's happening here? Ah, oh, no. What I have a feeling he got killed, stabbed, but Shadow Spine there trying to avoid the shots, trying to go for that second cap. Oh, wow, nice shot to the head there. Pivot's taken down. He should be running up. Try and run. Move it. There you go. Get the advantage on there. Oh my god, he's so vulnerable. Strong breeze could kill him right now. I can't believe how well you're surviving this right now. You're down to one health. Oh, there you go. Kerouac in there. <laughs> and then your entire victory claimed by a mini scout. Not looking good for blue, though. Ready to come back into this game. But again, they're ignoring the mini scouts. They seem to be the one things that are really ruining this game. The thing is, I did see Danny Tim play this, and I have not, I'm not. i wondering why they are not using like Silent Stick and um, Babyface Blaster, because you're even faster. I mean, you go to like 800 183% speed with the Babyface Blaster and form, form Max. Oh, there goes the Intel, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think Red Team wins that. Nicely done. 